Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your meetings on Zoom. So there is a cool feature which allows you to record your videos and audio files separately on the Zoom app when you uh, create a new meeting or when you uh, want to screen record, let's say your meeting, then also Zoom allows you to do it. So let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we are going to see the settings. So this is the settings icon here. So just click on the settings icon and then you will be able to see this recording option here. Now here you will be able to see bunch of options. The first option is store my recording ads. So this is the location where all your recordings will be saved. If you want to change this location, you can change it from here also. Now you have these options. The first option is choose a location for recorded file when you end the meeting. So this option will allow you to just choose the location wherever you want to save your video and the audio file after the meeting ends. The next option is record a separate audio file for each participant who speaks. That's a very good option when you want to record an interview with multiple persons or when you want to record a podcast with multiple personalities. So this option will allow you to just save the separate audio file for each participant so you can use it later. The third option here is optimize for third party video editors. So if you want to edit your videos, let's say you are screen recording your video then you can open this video file in that video editor. The next option is add a timestamp to the recording. So this is very clear. So if you want to add a time recording, then you can do it. The next option is record video during the screen sharing. So if you are sharing your Windows screen or you want to uh, share a presentation or whatever, then this option is good for you. Also, you have place video next to the shared screen in the recording option. So you can check it. And then you have the last option which says keep temporary recording files. So I'm going to leave everything as default for now, but you can choose according to the requirement you have from all these options. And then I'm going to start a meeting. So let's uh, start the meeting by just pressing on this new meeting button and I'm going to join with the computer audio and let's maximize this uh, screen and here you will be able to see this record button also you have the screen sharing option so let me just start the recording first so I'm going to just press this record option and once I uh, press the record option I can see the stop recording option and pause recording option. So because in the settings, I have checked the screen sharing option also while recording, I can just click on the screen sharing. And let's say I want to share a whiteboard where I want to demonstrate something. So I'm going to uh, just create something here and then you will be able to save this video. And once I'm done, I can close this uh, whiteboard and then I can also stop or pause the recording. So let me uh, just stop the recording from here. And once you stop the recording, you will be able to see this pop-up message which says meetings recording has stopped. The recorded file will be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends. So in order to see your recorded file, you need to end your meeting and then it will be uh, available for you in the MP4 format. So let's end the recording by just pressing the end button here and I'm going to just click on end meeting for all, which is going to save my recording and you can see it's converting my recording into the video file and the audio file. And once the file is generated, it's going to open the folder in which this recorded video is saved. So you can see it automatically opens that folder. Let me show you the extension also for all these files. So I'm going to just uh, 
check on this option which is going to show us the extension so this is the video of your recorded meeting so i'm going to just click on this which is going to open this video and uh, when i hear it the recording is saved with the audio file but if you want a separate audio file for your recording you can see zoom automatically saves the audio file for the recording also so you can use this audio file wherever you want right so this is how you can record your meetings in the zoom app i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video